Hey guys, Street Up here. Thanks for tuning in. I have a little bit of an RV product uh, review or, or show and tell that I want to share with you guys because I think it's kind of unique and I think it might be useful to some folks. So uh, recently I purchased, my wife and I purchased a older Lance 845 camper and it's a great camper. We're loving it, but it needs to be modernized a little bit and we'd like to get, we'd like to move into more off-grid type situation. So we're not exactly there yet. We're still using it in its original configuration, but one of the problems I run into is the charger or the converter charger. And this will, all your RVs pretty much have these, these uh, charger converters in them. And what these do, if you're not familiar, is like this one here, this, when you plug into shore power, this thing comes on and provides you with DC power to run all your lights and DC stuff. And on top of that, its job is to charge and control the charging of your battery. So this is going to charge your battery when you plug into shore power and you're going to have your AC and you'll also have DC running off of this. But what I think a lot of people don't know, and if you read reviews on lithium batteries, you'll see that people say that they don't hold a full charge or they're not taking a full charge or whatever. And I wonder when I see those, do people realize that you need a charge controller that puts out higher voltage. Lithium has a different charge requirement than your old lead acid. So for me, I had this one and I started looking for some problems and one of them was that this thing doesn't putting out enough to charge my lead acid, even my lead acid battery. It was put, it was below spec is about 13 volts. It should be about 13.6 to get a good, a good charge on your, on your battery. So I wanted to replace it. Now here's the trick. Do I want to put an old lead acid one in when I'm probably going to go to lithium, but I'm not quite there yet. So I did some shopping around. I called this company called PowerMax and they actually had a new product that wasn't even out yet. Let me give you the model number on this real quick. It's a PM3-55LKL. Very similar part number to some of their older offerings, but this is a brand new one. Now what makes this unique is it has a setting switch. So you can actually, you have three settings on the back and I don't remember which one's which, I'd have to look that up, but basically just know that this product can be switched from a lead acid profile to an actual lithium profile or to a standalone, just provide DC power. So you can really use this as a, as a DC power converter for other things as well. So really neat, unique, perfect for mine, the way my mind works. I like everything to be a a Swiss Army knife or or a Leatherman that has multi or a multi tool, so this does this will do most. Um, now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to use this because the space I have in this truck camper is so small. It was my bad. Uh, I literally barely have enough room for this little bitty guy, so this thing hung out the front about an inch and a half of the compartment I have, and I don't even have a, a location to move it to uh, without changing a whole bunch of wiring that I didn't want to do. So. I'm going to send this back to Graham over at PowerMax, but I had it in my possession and I put it on the test. You know, I put it on the bench here. I plugged it in. I tested all the voltage. The voltages were perfect in every switching mode. I would love to use this, but I don't want to rewire and reconfigure and cut to put it in. So I'm going to send it back to him. But since I had it, I thought, man, I went through a lot of research to find this. And, and so I thought maybe it'll help somebody out if I share it. So anyway, this will do lead acid. This will do lithium or it can do standalone just powering dc by itself uh, and that is an also adjustable there's an adjustment on the side here where you can actually adjust the voltage output so really kind of a unique item as of making this video it's not even on their website or on amazon or anything like that uh, so i thought hey that's pretty cool i think it's going to be great for anybody so i'm putting it out there Thanks for watching. I'm probably going to do a few more videos on the truck camper or maybe my evolution into lithium. So stay tuned.